Hello, everybody. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes. And today we're talking kitchen remodel with the pandemic and everybody going home crazy, spending all this time at home. Kitchen remodeling is actually up 40% from last year, according to a recent poll on CNBC. I am not a kitchen remodeling person, but I have an expert here, Mel. He is a professional contractor. He's going to explain to us what it entails to renovate or remodel your existing kitchen from a blowout where you're gonna rip it down to the rafters to maybe some things you can do that would be more economical for somebody who doesn't have the money to do a full kitchen now. And Mel, can you introduce yourself and tell us about your company, where you're licensed and things like that? Sure, good morning, Mark, Mel Goldman, All Borough. I'm the CEO. We're a fixed build and maintain company based in Amityville, New York. We service the New York metropolitan area. So Mel, basically the question of the day is what should a homeowner look for or a potential homeowner that's looking to buy and the kitchen is not to their liking or maybe some things aren't working properly and they want to totally revamp the kitchen, rip it out, down to the studs. Is there any way myself as a, um, a soon to be, you know, somebody that's hiring a contractor, what should I look for A, in the contractor and B, in the kitchen, you know, can I buy a kitchen at a local big box store and get it done real cheap? Or what would you tell me as the professional in this area, Mel? Sure, Mark. So a couple of things. One is <clears throat> you could, uh, when you say the words cheap, that's tough. Economical. Um, I don't use cheap. Yeah, economical. Economical. When you use the words economical, there's many ways to look at a kitchen. Uh, a, a homeowner buying or selling should always look at um if they're buying a home, how does the kitchen function? How do they want the kitchen to function that's in the best needs for themselves? The way a kitchen is designed is based on the functionality. The way a kitchen comes to the final number of a price is based on how a homeowner or a client would like the kitchen to look and how much do they want to spend? Do they want quartz as a countertop, Corian, granite? These are all different countertops for mica. So depending on their budget, it's going to depend on that type of finish. Cabinetry. You can get very cheap cabinets that will not last more than a few years. You could get middle of the road cabinets or you can get high end custom cabinets. Um, you know, counters, cabinets, drawers, doors, uh, they all function differently. Hardware, hinges, soft clothes. These are all things that would cost additional in a project to make a kitchen work the way you would like it to work. Um, then it's if the kitchen is a direct replacement, regardless of the size, then there's very minimal plumbing involved, very minimal electrical involved. If it's a relocation and you have to do new rough plumbing, new rough electric, it drives the price up. So. Those are some of the things that when you're looking to buy or sell your home, uh, you should be paying attention to whether if you're selling it, I would say the seller needs to make sure that the kitchen really functions and is in excellent condition. If not, they should rip it out, redo it, and that will add value to helping them sell their, their home. If you're buying the kitchen, the house, sorry, I apologize. If you're buying the new home and the kitchen needs to be redone, you should bring in a contractor and get an estimate of what it would cost to make that kitchen function the way you want it to function. Great idea. And that's exactly what I was going to bring up, but you beat me to it. Yes. For the sellers out there, the kitchen has to function. And I will give some tips that you don't have to replace the kitchen again, depending on the market. In a buyer's market where there's so much inventory out there, you might reconsider. I wouldn't say do a full kitchen remodel. That would be a little crazy because you're also, if you did it, you're doing it to your taste. You're not doing it to the buyer's taste. So it's going to limit your buyer pool. But if you have that funky wallpaper all over your kitchen from the seventies, that's something that's going to scare most people away, even though it's just wallpaper, cosmetic stuff. So that might, you know, mean bring in a contract to get that wallpaper removed, do a neutral color paint around it. And that's all you need to do as a buyer. If you see that kitchen and it is nothing compared to what you expect in a house, but the house has everything you need, location, location, and location, 
and it's at the price point and you're able to get a deal on it to your liking and your budget, then that kitchen can be replaced. And that's where Mel and contractors like Mel come in that you can get an estimate and Mel's contact information is gonna be down below. And he is an all-in-one person. As a matter of fact, uh, I know because he recently did some work on somebody's home that I referred him to and they wanted somebody that would do everything. They didn't wanna get an electrician and then get a plumber and then get this. So Mel came in with his group and they sat down and they got everything done for the homeowners so they didn't have to worry about anything. They dealt with Mel whenever there was an issue, which is a great thing to a lot of people. You don't wanna worry, you got enough to worry about right now. Again, I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions about real estate and buying a house, you contact me, Mark Schreier from Century 21. If you have questions about construction, anything on a house from a roof to a basement, uh, anything that would do with interior, exterior construct construction, you contact Mel. His contact information is going to be below. If you enjoyed this video, two thumbs up, one for me, one for Mel. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.